So um, that's a hard act to follow. You won a bunch of awards, you got nominated for the Oscar, and you needed to pick a subject for another movie. How do you go about picking that subject? I feel like the subject often picks me. <laughs> um, I was traveling around with Cartel Land and uh, ISIS was sort of becoming front page news and I started reading voraciously about this topic and, and trying to understand it and trying to see if there's a film to be made. And um, one day I read this article in The New Yorker by David Remnick about this group, Rock is Being Slaughtered Silently, and just right when I read it I knew that this is my way into the story. Um, I reached out to the guys and a week later I started filming. So it happened very, wow. very fast. How did you find them? I mean, they weren't hard to find then. Um, they were in Syria, right? I mean, they were there. Some were in Syria, some were in various forms of, of uh, exile, and two of them happened to be in the States, in D.C., um, already in exile. So I, I literally got on a train the night that I read the article to meet them. And uh, How did you know? What was it that appealed to you that made you feel like this was the right story? I'd actually been researching a, a different story about ISIS um, that was seemingly too dangerous and also not character driven and I want to make character driven films and so once I heard about these guys I knew that you know they were at least on some sort of trajectory um, and I think initially what drew me to it was a sort of um, information war this this propaganda war uh, between RBSS on one hand and ISIS on the other and intellectually I was I was fascinated by that um, and I knew, you know, in the beginning, I thought at least that the film would be about this sort of exodus from Syria as they're escaping from ISIS after being threatened, um, moving from safe house to safe house, and this would provide the, the spine of the film while constantly cutting back and forth to this amazing treasure of footage that they had captured uh, from within the city, from within the capital of the Islamic State. Um, but what I didn't know is what the film would become. You know, it became a an immigrant story. It became a story of, you know, finding oneself in a new land. It became a story of rising nationalism in Europe. It became a story of um, trauma and the cumulative effects of trauma that we see so vividly, you know, in that final scene.